When was the last time you had knee or back pain? That dull, painful ache that doesn't seem to go away some days. How did you treat this pain? Maybe you applied ice or heat. Maybe you used a knee brace. Maybe you treated yourself to that massage. What do you think caused that pain? I bet you're thinking you pulled a muscle in your back from sitting all day. And maybe you've convinced yourself you just have a bad knee. What if I told you there might be a better way to address this pain? and that your knee and your back are just messengers for dysfunction elsewhere. It's a muscle you've probably never heard of before that helps us run, walk, and carry. Weakness in this muscle has been correlated with chronic low back pain, pregnancy low back pain, and physical activity related low back and knee pain, and that's just to name a few. This muscle, or should I say muscles, is glute medius and glute minimus. Together, they span the outer edge of your hip and are the muscles that you're currently sitting on listening to me talk. My research is important because though we understand there's a connection between weakness in these muscles and various pathologies, we have yet to fully uncover their complex actions, limiting our treatment and prevention approaches. My research can be broken down into two parts. First, prior to any good exploration, you need a map. This map tells us the shape, strength, and function of these muscles. Previous old maps of medius and minimus fail to address how these muscles change when we bend over to touch our toes or squat down. To create these new maps, I dissected the hips of human cadavers and collected data which will be used to recreate 3D images. These 3D images will tell me the full range of medius and minimus function in previously unmapped postures. The second part of my research focuses on how we can strengthen these muscles now that I've created a new muscle map. Using the same technology that the movie and video game industry uses to create your favorite animated scenes, I will quantify the 3D motion of physically active participants as they perform various squatting exercises. Four variations of the squat exercise will be used, each addressing a unique aspect of the full range of medius and minimus functions. The first variation places both legs at shoulder width apart. The second places one leg in front, the third places one leg out to the side, and the final one keeps the one leg off the ground the entire time. I will then use computer software to recreate these exercises and determine the forces experienced at the hip. Together, the combination of the new muscle map from the hip dissection study with the hip forces from the exercise study will paint a more accurate, detailed picture of how we can strengthen these muscles. My research here at the University of Alberta seeks to question our traditional view of muscle function and may propose novel ways of addressing back and knee pain. Weakness in glute medius and glute minimus can cause systemic problems and are vital to everyday function. It's time we stop blaming the messenger and get to the root of the problem. Thank you.